Earlier this year, on short notice and little sleep, my dad and I ventured into a drainage harboring one of the prettiest fish species you can find in fresh water, the California golden trout. For a trout nerd like me, venturing into the golden trout wilderness has repeatedly been atop my monthly outdoor to-do list. Since moving into the general proximity of the secluded 300 plus thousand acre fish haven, I simply haven't made it up there. But in August of this year, I decided that that had to change. And hopefully there's some fish. Sierra, got guest special guest appearance. Hey, hey! And then to the uh, Golden Trout Wilderness tomorrow morning. A little base camp right now. It's gonna be awesome. Pretty stoked. We arrived at the trailhead just before dark, got our gear organized, and then headed to bed to get ready for an early morning. We got out of camp early this morning, about an hour on trail, making our way up to the first pass. We can get up and over into the Kern River drainage. Up and moving. All right, stopping for a quick breakfast. We have a brisk climb out of the gate this morning. Got us warmed up, ready to go. Hiked about 10 miles this morning and we found what appears to be an excellent spot for camping. We got way upper, the upper section flows right through here. It gets down to a canyon and the rest of the plan for today is to tackle the river and get out there. We see a lot of fish walking in. Good sign. First stop is lunch. By late morning, after spotting a number of fish, we are itching to break out the rods. There's an old adage in trout fishing that goes something like this. The easier the access, the tougher the fishing. The harder the access, the easier the fishing. Here, in a windy alpine meadow, it's definitely proved to be true.
quickly hooked dozens of small pure strain goldens and spent the rest of the day catching fish that were willing to eat pretty much any dry fly. Down to dinner, got some excellent pad thai going. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. After a dinner out in the meadows, we've hiked down into a cool canyon, found a great campsite. It's right along the river. That's down there, observing. Yeah, we'll be up and at it tomorrow morning. It's in some high alpine lakes. Right, it was a cold night last night. Shoes froze solid. Dad, Dad barely survived because he brought his summer bag. It was cold. <laughs> oh yeah, these things are blocks of ice. So I'm gonna go put them up in the sun. Hopefully get them thawed out before we get on trail. On day two, we decided to keep exploring and headed up to a string of high alpine lakes. This was a risky gamble. We had read nothing about the lakes and didn't know whether they would be a backcountry angler's paradise or completely barren. Most isolated lakes in the West are naturally sterile. They're landlocked and they don't have enough nutrients to support fish year round. Nowadays, many of these lakes have large populations of fish, but only due to stocking efforts in the early 20th century. Willing to risk the odds, we loaded our packs and headed out. Quick breakfast stop here, some oatmeal. After a morning of climbing, we got our first glimpse of the water. And hopefully there's some fish. All right, the good news is that we've come to a series of incredible lakes up here. It's a whole chain of three large lakes up in this basin. Super remote area, it doesn't seem like a lot of people get up here. Bad news is that we've been exploring for a couple hours and we've seen no sign of fish at all. No rises, no bugs, nothing swimming. It's crystal clear, so it's super easy to see everywhere. It's quite possible that these are fairly sterile lakes, like a lot of high alpine lakes are, before they get stocked. So we're going to go up and explore, kind of up and over this ridge behind me. And there might be some lake opportunity on the other side. We'll see. It'll be a day of exploration. Dad, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. This is so lovely up here. It's incredible. All right, time to climb this guy. Dad's getting a head start. All right, we're on our climb up. Already getting some ridiculous views. You can see our lake chain and Mount Whitney peeking up, kind of behind those trees, might be a little hard to see. Ooh. All right, we are way off trail right now. Somewhere on the border between the Golden Trout Wilderness and Sequoia National Park. Pretty stunning views of all these huge mountains all around, just wide open, super easy walking. Spectacular. We are just exploring our way through the backcountry here. All right, just crossed into Sequoia National Park. Wind is whipping in the high country. All right, 
we have arrived at our mystery lake. Dad is taking a nap. We have zero intel on this body of water, but hoping that it is full of large trout. We'll see. As the wind picked up, I found a good looking transition point and started casting. Good fish, some more golden trout in this awesome lake. Excellent place. We believe there's no trail that comes here, so this is real, real backcountry, backcountry. Very cool spot. After an afternoon of fish, we started the trek back to camp. All right, almost back to our camp. Emboldened by the success of our afternoon, I decided to try one more time to find fish by our campsite. I didn't see a single sign of life, and it was a bit eerie watching a pristine alpine lake at sunset and not seeing a single rise. After the trip, I was able to confirm that these lakes had in fact been rid of fish. They were gill netted in the early 2000s to prevent any genetic crossover with the pure strain goldens lower in the drainage. All right, dinner. Night three, two in the backcountry. Feel fantastic. Did some pretty cool off trail stuff today. Camping at a lake that we think might not have any fish, but we've hard to say. We'll do some research when we get back. No we fish have been seen or caught. We hiked all the way into Sequoia National Park just so Patrick could catch some big golden trout. It was it was awesome. Yeah, get some nice fish in there and enjoying the night. Dad brought his summer sleeping bag, so he's going to try to survive the night. We're up to just a little bit under 11,000 feet tonight. Paid it's probably going to get pretty cold. Paid the price last night. We'll see how it is so, tonight. Got some hot meals. Got some beef lasagna. Patrick's spawn is for his drying his clothes out so they don't freeze solid again like yeah. they did yesterday. Might throw a mouse tonight. We'll, we'll see. We'll check in if anything exciting happens. Right, we are hiking out on our last morning. Sun is just rising. It's just beautiful. The next morning, we knocked out a quick 15 miles and were back to the car by lunch. Mm -hmm. It was an extremely quick trip into the Sierra, and we barely scratched the surface of these watersheds. As we drove back into the triple digit temperatures of the desert, I had the same thought I almost always do after a successful outing. There will be a return trip soon. Alrighty, just like that, we are almost back to the parking lot. Bye bye, wilderness. Alright, should we be back at the car? Call this one. Needed. Yes. Woo. Right. Awesome. Nice. Awesome, awesome. 